So I'm trying to record from uh, Pixel today because I want to see if it's good and I can then use the Pixel and the camera together. I don't know what to do because the camera's there. But like if I'm looking at myself, it's here. So I should look here. Okay, anyway, I'm not going to care where I look today. I just wanted to do a video about my mornings and getting ready because really fine structure in my day and I usually wake up around 7.30 which used to be really early for me but I feel like if I don't wake up early and I don't have my routine then I get like super sluggish and I get kind of depressed and I just stay in bed just like moping and going in a cycle of oh I'm still in bed oh I'm not doing anything oh I'm gonna just be there forever and be useless and it's just a stupid fucking narrative I keep telling myself but you know so, I wake up at 7.30 in the morning and I roll around in bed. I put my phone on Max Brightness to blind myself awake with the amazing blue light and I sync up Philips Hue to wake me up with my Google Home. And I also make Google tell me a word of affirmation every morning, which is pretty fucking neat. So she goes, good morning, Mel. Today, the weather can be the case. And... Um, something something nice like you like some believe in yourself thing that's not too like tacky and in the morning i have breakfast which is pretty like basic i realized i've come to really like my little habit of egg and uh with callus and uh nanami dorashi and cracker broad which is like this crispy flat swedish bread delicious and it's like this like margarine spread but uh, Ellen introduced me to this amazing version of breakout, which is like this browned butter breakout, which tastes like brown butter. It's just out. So good. I digress. So, after I eat, I usually take a ton of supplements, and I'm going to show you what I take every day for improved my reaction to and from Redlin, um, of which I am on 10 milligrams right now. Sometimes it doesn't work so well, sometimes it works. I don't know. I'm just still kind of trying to figure it out because I just got diagnosed. And, you know, that's always fun. It takes a while, but we'll get there. So, first, well, not the first, in any general order, actually, I take um, zinc. And so I'm not, so please don't, like, take it without checking with your doctor. So for zinc, I take 20 milligrams of zinc because it's shown to have lower levels in people with ADHD, and I'm just gonna take it with my amazing water bottle because it's fun and I like the distraction, like you chew it to drink it. Then I take um, omega-3 and this has helped me a lot with my concentration and it makes me less hyped, I think. It's kind of like it helps out my serotonin, dopamine, like it turns it from like rave stage to like chill dance, like chill hot vibes and it looks like this. It's pretty cool. Next, I take vitamin D because it's really great right now. And I want to avoid kind of the winter depression, anti-sun, sadness. I don't know. There's barely any sun here, so I don't want to, you know, why not? And this one has calcium as well because there was a sale. And so I got it with the calcium because it was good value. And I could feel my mom in the back of my head going, such good value, just buy so I did. So I have that. I have calcium now, which is cool. I should research on what it does, but that's fine. Sometimes I have a hard time swallowing things. I think because when I was 16 or something, 16, 17, 16, 17, I don't know. I was in a really dark place and I probably do a whole ass episode for that. But um, my mom had cancer, uh, breast cancer. She's fine now. Um, I found out I was adopted, not through them, um, but through my best friend. My ex-boyfriend was super abusive, like it peaked and it like kind of reached this climax over there where it was like the, the beating was really, really out of control. And so I tried to kill myself and I tried to take like a ton of freaking Panadol because, you know, eh, it wasn't very thought through. Then when I was lying on the floor, I realized that I didn't die. So I called out for help for my dad. 
uh, he freaked out. We got to the hospital, they popped me clean and didn't die. So that's a story for another day. But it's why sometimes I find it a little bit hard to take a pill. And we don't talk about suicide or suicide attempts enough, even though I think we should, because it's scary and it's confronting. And, you know, sometimes you go to a dark place and it's, it's probably, I always felt like I was alone. You know, of course we mourned people who did kick the bucket, but, you know, the fighters kept on fighting. I'm really happy that most of us are okay now. Okay, so I digress. Okay, try again. Um, I also take vitamin B complex, which I found gives me a lot of energy. And that's just good because sometimes I'm just, I feel like a, like a potato. And I don't like that feeling. So it is yellow and it smells like fish food, but that's fine. So there's that. And magnesium citrate is here and it works better than magnesium because it absorbs faster. Also it's great for being hyper, headaches, irritability, and it's helped me a lot with my cramps. Um, like my whole body started cramping up recently. Okay, so we're done with the daily stack, and then I take my 10 mg of Redlin. This is Redlin, Redlin, and let's go. And then I log it in my notebook, ADHD log, and I write the dates. Like now it's February, so I just started this one. I usually scribble it down, but it's not efficient. I have my little log, and I write my my date and my time I took it, and like one or half. And I write if I took my vitamins, whether I had my period, did I have a headache, and if I was irritable. And you took my first one at eleven, and I've set an alarm to take it again at three, I guess. So that's 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 that. I mean, I usually find it runs about four hours for me sometimes. It doesn't work, which sucks, but you know, okay. Oh yeah, weekend, weekend. So on weekends, I take this Vita Yummy thing. I'm not sponsored, it just, I mean, I have to talk about it, it's great. So remember that Sugar Bear Insta thing, blah, blah, blah. Um, well, you know, I think my hair's fine. I use like, we can talk about shampoos one day. I got like the itchy dry scalp, such a drawn scalp shampoo. So expensive, use very little, really works. Very good, leave it in your head, do your shit, come back, fix. Um, so anyway, this is, I'm not gonna eat one now, but this is Vita Yummy. And uh, like it comes and sometimes it sticks to the bottom, which is like a thing, but like no one's gonna get hurt from it. So this little dude over here, I don't know about the focus, I'm not really used to it. Okay, the little guy here, um, he's full of vitamins. He has D, E, B12, B12 is the good one. Um, folic acid, A, C, thi thiamine, and stuff. It just, it's just good. Um, so I don't take it on weekdays usually because I chill out with my retinol on weekends. I take so much or I don't take it at all. But vitamin C makes the pills go through my system faster. And I kind of don't want that. I kind of don't want to take too many of those. So yeah. And... I don't drink caffeine once I've taken retinin because it makes my head go like super speed. I make a big, big mug of minty and I actually add some uh, theanine inside. So I add about like uh, 150 milligrams or something of L theanine. So this is the stuff that's found in green tea. You can just drink green tea to be honest if you want, but like sometimes I like variety. It's just a powder. It comes with this tiny baby spoon. I mean, it comes in different forms. I think you can take it in a capsule or whatever, but it's a tiny baby spoon and it barely tastes like anything. It's really little and I put like a stoosh of it like into my uh, minty and it calms me down. I mean, it takes the edge off, but yeah, because my brain's always like vibrating. So, um, yeah, what else? Um, okay, when I, when I can't sleep, I take melatonin. This is a new one. I haven't opened it yet, but this one tastes like Peaches, you put it under your tongue. So on the days where I really can't sleep because I keep thinking of like, oh, the next big grand thing, I'm gonna change the world. I put this under my tongue, I take like one, so this is three 
milligrams kind of like that's like the level I, I did and yeah okay and that's about that if you want to see what a pill of melatonin looks like it's just it's not special it's just it's just this it's, it's really sweet so it naturally occurs in your body but sometimes you know with the regulation in my brain it's a bit funny now we are done i've talked about what i wanted to talk about i also managed to lose my pen in a matter of seconds i'm waking up at some 30 i've talked about google affirmations it's really good you can program it and i highly recommend you get a google home and philips hue helps me wake up really gently and if you like the blackout curtains or something it's amazing i sleep about midnight or one when i'm cheeky and i wake up at 7 7 30 and that's that's enough for me and even on weekends i wake up now and then the breakfast is done. When I'm having breakfast, I don't use my phone. I use my phone to wake up with the blue light, then I put it aside and I just read my book and I eat my food and I feel like that helps me like really like like quiet and maybe a little bit. Okay. And I do my no and then I do my vitamins, then I do my medicine log, then I shower. And then we're gonna do the moisturizing thing and get ready thing. So I I thought I'd start today by just being as is, naked, which is confronting. But I can't preach like being comfortable in your skin and like principal and eyeliner. I don't think like I mean you should be comfortable both ways. Last year I was about this whole like oh no makeup, no bra movement, which was nice. But I kind of realized like my femininity, femininity, femi my femaleness. Um, oh my god, jeez. Um doesn't depend on that either way and that sometimes a push-up bra is cute to me and sometimes I just want to let the girls have a rest and oh I should just say rest I'm still finding it really hard to call but I want to make it a point to just call parts as they are so so now I just kind of don't mind either way and I think it's probably because I'm 26 and I'm overthinking everything but you know it's what it is um yeah so Last week, there's a mini update while I think about what I was supposed to do to get ready. So I had this like kink in my neck at the back and it hurt a lot. And then my hand started itching and it swelled. So like now this hand's really swollen compared to this hand, I guess. And anyway, it's it's puffy like this way, right? And it hurts all the way up to my arm and I don't know what's up, but my shoulder blade started hurting as well. So I think it's a posture issue. And I gotta get better at it. So that is the update. I went to the hospital on Valentine's Day. It was fun. <laughs> and yeah. So it is now about 4 p.m. And I've edited half of the video that I wanted to put out as one. And I have decided to maybe split it into two. So the first part is just about vitamins. And the second is about my makeup and my like mini ritual that I do to start my day. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys at the next episode. Thank you for watching.